quick disclaimer this is not an early game build you have been warned that being said please enjoy what up YouTube Darth Dub coming at you with a kelp farm a flying machine kelp farm um, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat do not build this in a water area where you find a lot of kelp okay you're gonna have issues you'll have uh, creatures spawning inside that you don't want spawning inside okay let's go ahead and bring it out of the water okay so what I got here is I've got 16 including these edges by 32 including these edges okay that's all wall and in the center of all this wall is sand so we're gonna go ahead and bring the wall up by one and then on the 16 ends you're gonna not on this space but here you're gonna go ahead and place a block that will not be moved by sticky okay this is gonna be touched by part of your flying machine and you're gonna bring yeah one up like this with one here and you're gonna drag this all the way over to the other side and then over here you're gonna do that same thing bring one out and then drag it all the way to the other side and then I just fill in the wall next we'll go ahead and bring one up place it here drag this all the way across to and then find your centerpiece it's one two three four five six seven we're gonna take out that one and that one okay we'll come over here and actually you can count one two three four five six you can do the same thing from the other side like that and this side and that side we're gonna do the exact same way okay on the left you're gonna come out by one bring it like that and right here you're gonna come out by one two three come out by two the rest of the way down and then we're gonna bring this just above on both sides and then bring that side out because all these spots are going to touch your sticky blocks I'll bring that out to here and then this one the same now right here on both sides you're going to want a piece of obsidian or crying obsidian or something to uh, stop the pistons from moving okay so your other side is going to look just like this and with both sides done like this we'll go ahead and come up here bring this up like this we'll do this on both sides here and over there and we'll put buttons there and there next I'm gonna go ahead and uh, none of this has to be glass but I'm gonna make it glass I'm gonna bring well I'm gonna make some of it glass and I'm gonna cover up this most of the way around but uh, bring this up uh, I'd say 30 from here doesn't have to be that high but eh going going big on this one yeah I have my aesthetics picked out I am up 30 from the sand down there and we're gonna go ahead and start by building one of our uh, one of our flying machines so we're gonna have sticky blocks there and you can use you can use honey blocks or you can use slime blocks so we've got a piston there uh, let's see we're gonna have an observer right here facing so I'm gonna to have to come down a little bit place this guy right here he's facing down that way I'm gonna come over here and yeah I'm gonna to have to take this one out too uh, we're gonna crouch place this right there on that button now don't forget to replace these they're vital to the uh, to the farm I'm gonna place two sticky pistons just like that and then two more sticky pistons just oh oh 
may have to come down just like that don't forget to put this back every time you have to do that because you will have to do that a few times while building this go ahead and place your stickies like that okay and we want another sticky piston right here okay next we are going to want our uh, block our redstone conductive block one there one down from there this is going to come out to and then come up and come out to here and we're just going to bring this back across here with one up there and a slab or glass right here I'm going to grab our dust and our repeaters and dust this along like that we're going to take two repeaters both on four ticks there and there next we're going to want to come over here and we'll place a sticky piston right there facing up and we're going to want to get an observer on that uh, so we'll get a temporary block and put this here that's got to be redstone conductive because we're going to put a button right on there boom this will send that flying machine going when you press the button below what we want to do now is we want to take our sticky block place some, six of them there and place six of them there making sure that they touch the sticky blocks that will be moving with the flying machine next we're going to come here on the other side we're going to place our sticky piston there temporary block sticky piston uh, you know what that's not a temporary block that is a redstone conductive block we're gonna bring these out and come out I believe it's three and like this gonna come one down here like that yes indeed and then we're gonna come into this little piece here place our observer with repeaters on four ticks and dust along this now we must remember take that out this has to be either a slab or glass something that's non redstone conductive that way it doesn't light up the piston that's here when that uh when that device is down here okay and actually we can place a redstone conductive block there to conserve some redstone if we want but it doesn't matter either way I'm going to place that there. I like to block this up. Um, then we can go ahead and place this here and here. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to put something here and here. And what that's going to do is that's going to keep water from spilling down out of the farm next I'm gonna come over you know actually it's probably a good idea not to use the blocks that you're using in there just so you don't accidentally tear those out and forget to put the right ones back in so I'm gonna be using something that I can use temporary uh, once again if you are doing this in survival there's a good chance you're gonna to want to use something like moss or slime something that takes out easy all right once you've got both of your sides covered like that we're gonna fill this puppy with water all the way to the top and they all should be source blocks all right filling that with water I left three blocks open what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pick a side this side or that side I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning but we're gonna be taking one of these sides out like that and uh, we probably could have just went without putting that in in the first place alright now we found the center of this piece that we took out you're gonna want to leave these two spaces open here you're gonna want to come down one you're gonna want to come down two okay this is gonna be blue ice two three four five six seven 
yeah, we'll go seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that. Both sides. So that wall's out. The ice is in. We're going to go ahead and put temporary blocks in like this. Uh, I used glass just because it's easier to see where I'm going with these hoppers. These two are coming this way with one here and one there. And then back here, these are going to go in this way. There and there. Okay, now down here, we're going to want a hopper going in there. A hopper going in there. I'm going to take this out, put one in there, and one in there. Now, we're going to take out this and this, place chests there. And take out this and this, put hoppers there. Now, we're going to want our rail and our minecart with hopper. And place our rail like so. You got to place the minecart hopper directly on the rail, but you can place the rail against the side wall, and that's fine. We're gonna come over. We'll place a block. I think I like glass for this. There and there. And come over and take out these tracks. That track and this track really you can leave the tracks it doesn't matter I just like to take them out and we'll put blocks like that next we're gonna use smokers here and hoppers running into them on the sides and yeah we'll have them come out this way one there and one there And then, because I'll probably leave this guy run, I will put, yeah, yeah, we'll do like this, because I'm going to put chests here and here, with hoppers here and here, and really you just need one hopper to make them go from there to this chest, but I'm going to go ahead and do them like that, just because and then with chests on these hoppers for your fuel and I like to block this off this is where your items are gonna pull hopefully right here in the center of these four so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring blocks up on both sides And I'm going to bring these out. Now these are temporary, but they're going to cover the entire face of this. Now as you'll see, I brought the whole thing up. All of this is not necessarily temporary. Uh, we're going to have this one, this one. So let's take out these. The rest of these are unnecessary this is level so you know what I have these here these are temporary now the reason for all these temporary blocks is because we're gonna be placing a lot of chests on this puppy and I did that wrong I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna place chests here and here down along the entirety of this without blocking the hoppers. Now that we've got our chests placed in this configuration we're going to come over and we are going to place a sign on each and every one of these chests. Not every chest, every top chest that's in line. Now that you've got this part done we're going to come over to this edge, not these top blocks but right here we're gonna place one two three we'll bring these all the way across now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our water and come over with our water and we're gonna fill these three and we'll, all the way across and it'll fill in nicely like that 
Then we're going to take more temporary blocks. We're going to come down here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we are going to place those all the way across. Next, we're going to come over and we're going to place temporary blocks on all of these. All right, with our temporary blocks running like this, what you're going to want to do is now make a source block of water. So something like this. That way you've got source blocks to come to because these are not going to fill themselves in. And there we go. They stop right here at the edge because of the signs. Now you can take out your source blocks. From this point, I like to cover the top of this with slabs. And we take out our temporary blocks. I start with the top. And as you take them out, you notice that you start to fall down. That's because the blocks that you're taking out are not leaving source blocks behind. It's flowing water flowing down from the water above. So it's going to push you down and it's not going to allow your items, your kelp, to be collected by the system. So what you're going to want to do is fill those three and then you can come every other one here and it will fill quite nicely all the way in but uh, in survival it definitely helps to have respiration 3 and depth strider 3 for doing this now that's filled in just these ones all the way down and not interfered with anything on top of these blocks here so next we're gonna come over here and we're gonna take out all seven of these blocks all the way across you'll see how it's pushing me down and we're gonna take out all of them now something you can do here which I should have done on this side is as soon as you take these first ones out place water here 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 and here now as you take these out they're instantly filling in with water going that way now coming from the other way it's still gonna but once you get it cleared all the way to the edge this will fill in with water exactly where you want it and from this point we'll go ahead and take out these one two three four and we'll place water there 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 and there now we can take the rest of these out and it'll fill with water everywhere we want it to so I've got your water all done up at the top. We can go ahead and come down here and remove our temporary blocks, which we probably should have already done, and take them out in this order, lowest to highest. Like that. And if you were in survival, you would not have been able to take that out so easily as I did but anyway you got your water flowing like this and we'll take it out on this other side too now we did not plant or test um, in survival you're definitely going to want to plant early on in kelp planted I do believe this is ready for a test go so let's come over to this side the side that's got our machine on it we would have wanted to test this a little earlier uh, just to make sure you got everything going right. Seems to be going pretty good. You're going to want to stay in the area when this is going back and forth. And watch when it gets here. And there she went going back it always scares me sometimes sometimes it'll stop up here because I think it's because of the water uh, see how it is there it'll come back over here sometimes and sometimes it won't but uh, and you'll see our kelp is all just flying up or floating up and you'll see I forgot a crucial step 
which is placing water there and placing water there. And, and why are these stuck here? These are stuck here because of a problem with the water. There we go. Okay. So that's what was happening there. If water did not fill in properly. And if it doesn't fill in properly, you'll be able to see it very easily. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you like the build, go ahead and tell me about it in the comments. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button for me and subscribe. It's been real. Peace.